I think we need to move away from some of this sort of like hot take stuff that doesn't make sense. Hi, hot take here. Because honestly, we're engineers. Same. I can accept that both of them broadly provide a way for one system to access another system's functionality or data. That's all I ever said. Sure, if that's your definition of an API, fine, but it's not a useful definition. Okay, I guess we'll just have to agree to absolutely agree. For context, a few days ago, I made this post on Twitter, which is basically saying that MCP is just an API. And I 100% agree with you, Alex. This is not the, the context that I would give someone to, to build their website on without diving into more of the details of MCP. But one of the things I do approach this from, one of the perspectives that I have, is that MCP, along with RAG and all these other things in an AI world that are completely brand new topics for people, and when they don't have any understanding of what that is, I think there is a very easy way to give them an idea of a concept at a very high level. And I've taught lots of people, and I don't need to defend that background because, again, I completely agree with all the context that you that you added, and I highly encourage people to go and watch that video. But a perspective we can bring to the table is easing people into this world of AI that have no background in it. You and I have the luxury of having the time and the ability, and you work for a company in Master, which people should also go and check out. And also, this site is pretty sick. That's really, really cool of having that luxury to be able to go and dive into the details of what this all means. But if I'm not actively developing an MCP server, if I'm not actively consuming an MCP server and I wanted the easiest definition of what is an MCP server, it's an API. You mentioned the idea of like, hey, if we wanna just say that these are two things that can talk to each other, that's 100%. The intent behind the tweet, it also is intended to be one of those, like it is one of those hot takes. I acknowledge that as well. But there's several points that you go on to make that I think are very, very good that get into the intricacies of why MCP is a valuable, valuable thing in the world that we lived in or live in now. And I think the reality is MCP is a protocol that defines how an LLM will talk to an API. API at its very generic, most high level sense is application programming interface. It's a way that two things talk to each other. MCP is the protocol that defines how LLM will talk to another service. And there's a couple of things that are really important for how that um, how that works. I won't go into as much detail as you will. Again, I encourage people to go watch the video because it's a great explanation. There's really two things that an MCP server, MCP protocol defines that enables LLMs to more explicitly, to more effectively talk to another service. There's two things. One is the ability, uh, a common endpoint that you can call or a common tool that you can call which is the tool for listing all of the tools that you have the access to call. You can think of tools as API endpoints that do different things. No, they don't map necessarily one-to-one -to, -one to a traditional CRUD REST API. Again, watch the video for more details, but you can think of these as individual endpoints that can be called to do a specific thing, retrieve a specific information, et cetera. So with that in mind, what an LLM does is it makes a call to the MCP server to get the list of tools so that inside of its memory and its mind, it can make decisions based on the information it has of which one of these tools it should call, if any of them, which it may never call any of these tools. So that's number one is the ability to list all of your tools. Number two, the biggest differentiating factor is the fact that you have a description associated with each one of these tools. So when you call that list tools endpoint, that is going to give you back a list of tools. That description is probably the most important thing that's included in the definition of these tools because that's the information that an LLM uses to be able to make decisions on which one of those tools to call to be able to do the things that we think magically AI should be able to do. Without that, if you go back to the idea of a basic REST API, an LLM would have no idea which of these endpoints to call, what it's going to be used for, et cetera. The only inference it would have is the actual URL. Here, we're defining the description. Now there are some there are some intricacies of how those descriptions are defined to be LLM or AI readable and understandable versus what we think of as human readable. Again, I'll give you more details or I'll, I'll let you go and watch the full video for more details because I want to push people that way because it is the piece of content that people need. The tweet that I put is not the content to teach you the intricacies between all of them, all of the above. So I just want to wrap up by saying, Alex, thank you for creating the valuable content that people are looking for and defining this. I also hold strong to the perspective that there is a valuable conversation to start with to, uh, to equate MCP with an API and then to dive into exactly the details that you just detailed. I also wanna give a shout out to 
uh, Master Alex is working at Master. I, don't, I think that's relatively new. I, I, I don't actually know how long. Um, that's been on my radar for a while to go and check out. So I hope that people don't take this video as me being offended by the response or me being upset by the response. I think it's absolutely what it should be by providing value to the community first and foremost. And so Alex, I thank you for that. Go and check out the original video. I'll have a link to that that you can go and, or the tweet that he put with the video in that you can go and watch. And then go and build cool stuff. Thanks y'all.